Hey there, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of Finn AI Copilot as an agent. I'm going to cover how to use it first, then why you should use it. You'll also hear from some of the team at Intercom to help me with this. And then we're going to finish up with some general do's and don'ts for using Finn. You can access Finn AI Copilot here on the right hand side tab. And you can switch between these sections using these keyboard shortcuts. And it's also actually accessible via the Command K menu too. Now, if you click here in the corner, you'll see that there are some links for reporting, access and knowledge. Uh, these are more for managers, so I'm not going to cover them here today. Um, these toggles then, on the other hand, allow you to control exactly which sources you want Finn to search. Super useful if you want to maybe just look in previous conversations for tips and workarounds from your teammates. Now, if you want to ask a question, you can type that in here, or you can take a question from a message by highlighting the text and hitting this button. And once you ask the question, Finn will respond with an answer and the sources of information it used to generate that answer too. Now, customers do not see anything that happens within this tab, and they only actually see the answers if you choose to share them. You can easily check the sources for either of these by hovering over them to get a brief view, or you can click in and read further and fact check the source itself. Um, you'll also see any pieces that are actually used in the answer itself highlighted in yellow. Now, regarding these sources then, this symbol here means it comes from an internal source. So this could be something like Confluence, Guru, Notion, or an internal intercom article. Um, this button then is the Add to Composer button. But if you click here, you can actually use these options to edit your answer before you add. Now, these same AI tools are also available in the Composer as well. Okay, that's all you really need to know about how to use Finn AI Copilot in the inbox. Now, let's talk about the value you can get from using it. And instead of hearing from me, I'm going to share a few clips from some of the support agents on the Intercom team and how Finn helped them. I treat it kind of like tapping a teammate on the shoulder and ask it questions naturally uh, about intercom features and even internal processes we have documented. And because it's pointed at so many different resources, it has an instant answer for me every time. Because intercom moves quickly, some of the topics I was once an expert on have changed. Finn and Copilot can help me bridge that gap and be as current and accurate as possible for our customers. So how does a new agent use Finn Copilot, you ask? Sanity checks. When you have to retain a lot of information, sometimes it can be very blurry, especially with products that seem similar but don't operate in the same way. So whenever I have those moments of doubt, I'm able to run the question really quickly through Finn Copilot. What I love about Finn Copilot is how you can buy a little bit of time here and there. So the way I like to use it is I might jump into one conversation, ask it a question, and then while that response is formulating, I can jump into another conversation and put a first touch on that there. So it really is a time saver in that way. But I think the most enjoyable thing uh, about using this feature is how much I've learned and built on my product knowledge. And because of that, I think it's made me a better support agent for our customers. When I started kind of introducing Copilot into my workflows, one thing that I noticed is that it was able to offer brilliant workarounds offered by our other teammates that I would not have came up with myself. So the team shared some great points there, and most of those guys have over three years of experience working at Intercom. So let me quickly recap and add one or two bits of context into their points. So as mentioned, the team like to use Finn as a trusted colleague that can quickly tap on the shoulder when they want some advice, context, or a quick sanity check on things. Uh, Finn works really well, especially when a product changes fast, or if you're not a very technical person, it's gonna save you a bit of time from having to reach out to someone who is, or to escalate the conversation. So even if you're really well versed, it can actually help to build your product knowledge even more, as well as saving time here and there, which is all going to add up. So no more switching between tabs for to look up info. Finn can do that for you. Less time looking for information and faster response times means it's going to be a better experience for your customers. And more importantly, empty queues at the end of the day for you. Um, even Chris mentioned at the end that uh, Finn AI Copilot is amazing for finding workarounds. Um, and these often come from past conversations where teammates have found something that worked that doesn't end up being documented and Finn is able to find these really quickly in those past conversations. 
So all in all, this makes for an amazing tool that can help you in multiple different ways. Um, so to get the most out of it, let's finish up with some do's and don'ts. So first up, do ask it questions related to your support content and past conversations. And then on the flip side of this, don't ask questions outside of what Finn has access to. I.e. don't ask it general knowledge questions or really specific things about a customer or their plan. Finn only knows about what it's connected to. Two, ask detailed, specific questions with enough context. And again, the flip side of this, don't use vague language. You wanna make it as easy as possible for Finn to find the answer. Three, always verify your answers before sending. Makes sense. And now we're on to the last two don'ts. Don't give Finn instructions. It doesn't work like ChatGPT. And don't ask Finn to summarize the conversation. There's actually another feature for this called AI Summarize in case you didn't know. Okay, those are the do's and don'ts. Let's finish up with one final piece of advice. When starting out with Finn AI Copilot, we recommend that you pick five different types of conversations to test it out on. This is gonna give you a proper sense of how it works in different situations. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about how to use Finn AI Copilot.